everyone. Today we are trying out a couple of new things. Uh, Laura Geller was kind enough to send me some products and we'll talk about those. And I'm going to use the Amber Pearl on my eyes. This is the Dior Quint that I've worn a bunch of times, uh, but I haven't done a on-camera look with it. So I will go ahead and uh, actually do a look with it today. Um, although you guys have seen this on my eyes a couple of times. It's a really pretty, very neutral quint from Dior. This is the new formula. Um, and I do like this one, actually. It's, it's really good for work. It's really good for every day. But let's talk about Laura Geller. So Laura Geller was kind enough to send me um, two different shades of her Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation, Light and Fair. I am actually wearing Fair right now if you can't tell i do have foundation on this is described it says let us balance your skin tone and brighten your day our beloved balance and brighten foundation makes shade matching a breeze color correcting swirls of multicolored liquid pigments are baked for 24 hours on terracotta tiles and hand finished in italy the result is a weightless coverage that applies with the ease of powder but has the benefits of cream so i looked at the two shades and i'll swatch them on my hand for you but it's really it's really hard to see but it's really hard to see. This is the fair, which is what I have on my face. And this is light. I think you can see the fair is much cooler and it's what ended up working much better on my skin tone. So I have a um, video that's gonna go up while I talk about this. Um, I think the the powder, I first tried it with the Sonia G Sheer Buffer. You need a denser brush if you're gonna actually get coverage. If you use the, the Sheer Buffer or a Sheer less dense brush, you're just gonna get more of a powder effect, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you're trying to use it as a foundation, you're gonna want a denser brush. And they did send me a powder brush and a kabuki brush that has like a case with it, like the Chanel cases, if you've ever seen these, uh, basically for travel, which is actually a great thing. Chanel has a couple of them. Um, and so this is a very dense brush. I put the powder on with this brush. You can, you know, hopefully see that in the, in the video. And I'll tell you, I'm looking at a 10X mirror and it does not look like powder on the skin. It actually, and my skin is very dry, it sunk in beautifully. It actually looks quite nice and gave me excellent coverage. The only thing I'd say is even the fair is a little deep for me. You would need a shade down um, to meet <laughs> my uh, skin tone. So if you're my skin tone, even the fair, you're, this is gonna be too deep. Um, you would need a very fair um, to, to be as, as pale as I am. Um, the fair might've worked uh, you know, in the, in the past when I was like outside more, I'm going to put this on my hand. Like I said, it's really hard to see because it, it is close to my skin tone. Um, but on my face, it's just a little bit, a little bit too deep, um, for my skin tone. Uh, it's close though, but like, you can see, like, it's just a little, little too deep. So you need something like a step down if you're my shade range. The light, um, is a little deeper than the fair um, and warmer. So here's the fair and that's like impossible to see. And here's the light. So the fair is very close. Um, it's, you know, it's the right undertones. I think it looks really nice on the skin. It's just a little bit deep for me. Um, it's not a lot guys. I mean, it's, you know, it's one of those things because these are color correcting. So in other words, there's there's different shades in here. You can kind of see it's like a marbled kind of thing. So the idea is that, you know, you have a fair, you have a light, you probably have a medium. Um, and then, you know, you can, there's a lot of people that can use, you know, a light shade or a fair shade or whatever. So it's a little bit too deep, but not, you know, not terrible, but I would say I would probably, I would need a very fair, which I don't believe exists. Um, and you'll notice I keep like wiping the, the counter in front of me. It's because Laura Geller also sent me the blush and it's in little, I don't want it, it broke into a million pieces that arrived that way. So it looks just, it should look just like the, the, the powder foundation. 
And I have the shade Ethereal Rose. It's Baked and Blush and Brighten Marbleized Blush. Uh, instant with our Silky Smoothie Baked Blush, created by Italian Artisans, baked on terracotta tiles, same thing. Um, and it's got Centella Asiatica, white tea extracts, uh, the famous formula protects your skin with an anti-inflammatory anti properties, a gorgeous glow no matter the season. So what I'm going to do, because, again, it's in a million pieces, uh, I'm just going to dip my brush in the uh, powder, um, because, like I said, it's all over the place, um, and see what it does on the skin. Oh, it's very pretty. It's very luminous, um, but like I said... It should be like marble. It should be hard. It should be a marbleized hard powder. Unfortunately, that is not what it is because it's in a million pieces. But because it's a powder, it's very light on my skin. I think you can see the luminescence on my skin. It is glowy. It's very pretty, but it is very light. Now that could be because this is in a million pieces. And so it's not getting the same effect that it would if it was, you know, hardened. Um, just taking a look at the powder and putting it on my finger. But I think it's just a light shade. For somebody who's pale, I think that's very, very pretty. I think you can see the luminosity in it. Like it's very, it's very glowy, but not, um, not in a harsh way. It, it's smoothing. It doesn't feel like it's accentuating texture. It's not drying. For powder, it actually looks very creamy. Yeah, it looks really nice on the skin. I think you can see actually that my skin actually looks pretty nice considering I'm wearing a full face of powder at the moment um, and my skin is dry. So let's see how it kind of, um, you know, wears um, over a little bit of time. And I want to again thank uh, Laura Gella for sending me that. I'm definitely going to keep using the products and see how they work. I also want to see how this foundation like wears throughout the day? Does it get lighter? Does it deepen? You know, does it oxidize? What happens? Um, but I gotta tell you, it actually looks really nice if you're looking for a powder foundation and you have more mature skin or drier skin, this actually looks quite nice and does not look cakey, does not make me look dry, which I gotta tell you, pretty much every powder foundation does. Um, even the HD foundation that came out recently, which I actually like, I can't, I can't put it on with a dense brush. I have to use it like with a powdery brush. So I almost use it more like just a, you know, like the H, like the um, Dolce & Gabbana powder, powder that I've talked about, the new one, the Solar Glow one. It's like that, it's perfecting powder, but I can't really wear it as foundation with the HD. This one though actually works as foundation. It covered up all the redness. It gave me a nice, you know, good canvas. Looks good on the skin, it's just a little too deep. Okay, uh, Amber Pearl. So, Amber Pearl um, is, like I said, one of the new formulas from Dior. It's peachy, I think is the best way to describe it. Um, it's a warm neutral, it's very pretty. The formula is really nice. It does last on the eye. It does blend into kind of one shade uh, throughout the day, which the new ones tend to do. There's a few that don't. Um, but again, this color story, I almost feel like it, it really won't matter as much to you or it doesn't matter as much to me because it's a very light, uh, it's a lightly pigmented light shades uh, warm neutral. I mean, I think you can see what I mean by like the peach. It's very peachy. I have worn this a couple of times on the channel already. Um, I have showcased it. I haven't done an eye look with it, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna use the Sky brushes from Sonia G. I hope you were able to pick some of those up during her restock. They're great brushes. They really are excellent. And what I would say is, if you're not sure which ones to get and you don't wanna buy like the whole set right away, go ahead and get like, the crease brush, which is what this is, classic crease, mini booster, or maybe like the flat lay down brush or soft, soft shader, something like that. You're gonna use them all the time if you're doing any type of 
eye look. And then you can decide later, she does seem to restock. But what I would say is the brushes uh, are getting harder and harder to make and more expensive. So don't be surprised if, you know, some of the stock does not come back. They're not guaranteed to come back, um, at least not in the way that they're currently made. Some will, some won't, but there's, there's no guarantees on it. So if you really like the brushes, you know, get them while you can. All right, so I took the matte brown shade, kind of created a, a crease uh, with that one. Then I'm gonna take the lightest shade, the one in the middle, and put that up in the brows. This is a light, I'd say almost cream shade. It's very pretty, um, easy to use. It's gonna go with pretty much everything because like I said, it's just a cream. And I'm just blending that with a, a fluffier brush. This is the Jumbo Blender into the brow part of my eye and pulling up that brown shade, kind of meld the two a little bit. Now those two shades will stay separate and that's why I say they do blend, the shades do blend into each other, but not, you know, severely. And again, because this is a light color story, you know, I, I don't know if it's that, that big of a deal. The shades that will tend to blend together, obviously are these two. Um, one, I'm gonna take the, the matte shade, uh, this matte peach shade. You know, when I take this and put this on the eye um, and I put it on like, I'm putting it on the outer half of the eye, and a little bit into the crease, it's a really pretty ap peachy shade. It's not really apricot, it's it's peach. It's like a lighter, it's a lighter shade. I use it, it's really a good like almost primer for the eye if you're looking for something peachy. Um, but when you take the sort of satiny shade um, and put it on top, and I'll use my finger just so you can see it in its like most opaque nature, it's not, it's not that different of a shade. It has more, you know, satin to it, but it's it's gonna blend into that other peach shade because they're just, they're similar shades. I mean, it's not as if, you know, it's really, I don't think it's gonna matter that much because like I said, the look is light anyway. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's not like you're trying to get a, a dramatic look with this, or at least you shouldn't be trying to get a dramatic look with this because you're not gonna, you're not gonna get it. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna take the um, shimmer shade. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something that has like, you know, the ability to be more of a, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Showstopper, I would go with something like Grand Ball. You know, that's a simple color story, uh, but you can definitely do something dramatic with it, or you can keep it actually very simple if you just wanna use like two shades in there. Uh, so that's what it looks like with a brush. And I'll take the, the shimmery shade with my finger. You're gonna get more impact with your finger than practically anything else. Um, but that's what the finished look is. Like I said, it's very light. It's very, it's very day appropriate. I'm gonna take the brown shade again just in, um, deepen up the crease. It's very work appropriate. Um, you know, if you're looking for something that you really can't, it would be very difficult to build this to a point where, you know, it would be a quote heavy look. Um, this is the this is the uh, the quid for you. Okay, I'm gonna put on a, a little bit of liner and mascara, and we'll come back and talk about the products. And we're back. So I think you can see it, it can actually be a really um, in my opinion, really soft, dramatic look. Uh, with a little bit of eyeliner, I have the Chanel Matte Taupe uh, liner and mascara, Fenty mascara, um, and I didn't change anything else. But it's just, it's a very soft look, but it's very pretty, it's very elegant. With Next to some black mascara, you know, there's a contrast there that I think is very pretty. I think it works well with my coloring. Um, and I've actually worn it you know, quite a bit. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite of the new ones. Um, khaki is probably my favorite. Um, I just, you know, I love greens, I love those color stories. But um, this one is is a very nice quint and I think really good for anybody who's looking for something easy to use, you know, very day friendly, very work friendly. Uh, depends on where you work, of course, but you know, um, 
and just, you know, a simple quint. Uh, it's definitely warm leaning, but it's not, it's not super warm. It's not orange or anything. Uh, and it has, you know, some demarcation. You can see there's distinct shades on my eye. I think you could probably work out that there's like three or four, which I think is, which is good. It does kind of melt a little bit as the day goes on, but it's not, it's not terrible. Cause again, it's a soft light look, uh, to begin with. So I really like it. I actually have, like I said, worn it a lot because it's just very versatile. The Laura Geller products. I, I have to say, um, the foundation, the powder foundation is actually wearing very, very well. Um, and for a powder foundation, which I do not use because my skin is too dry, I can tell you right now, the formula is fine. It created a beautiful, um, you know, canvas. The, my skin looks really nice, doesn't look dry. My pores aren't accentuated. My lines aren't accentuated. If it was just a little bit lighter in shade, I would use it quite frequently because it's super easy. <laughs> Um, you know, it's just, it's really easy to just use the powder and just carry this and put it on your face. Um, but it is a little, you can see it. It's a little too deep for me. Now, again, I'm very, very pale. So for most people, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, but it's just a little too deep for me. Uh, but yeah, it blended beautifully. It's sitting on the skin really nicely. The blush is a very beautiful luminosity to the skin. But I think you can see it's it's a very, very light shade. Like it's very, very light. And I can't tell if that's because, you know, when it broke in pieces, if like the piece, you know, because this is a marbled, there's different shades in here. And maybe the shades that had more pigment that were deeper, are, are, you know, aren't being mixed in. But I do think this is just a very light shade. Um, you can see it on my back of my hand. It's a very light pink. Um, it's very pretty and the luminosity is gorgeous. And I actually think it looks very nice on my skin. Um, but I think it's only going to work, uh, on somebody who's very pale or if you have a deeper skin tone, it's going to be almost like a, um, a very icy pink highlight, which also would be beautiful, but it's not going to work as a blush. Now, again, it's because, because it's in a million pieces, I, I'm not sure of that. Um, but yeah, it says ethereal rose. So I think it's meant, I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm going to keep using it because I actually really like the way it looks on my skin, but it actually ends up looking more like almost like a highlight, very light blush, very, very light blush, um, more like a highlight, but it does have a similarity to the Chanel Fantasia blush that I love so much in the luminosity of it, but it's not nearly as pigmented, but the luminosity is similar. Um, it's very pretty and actually very flattering on the skin. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to check the Laura Geller site and see if there is like a very fair. I don't think there is. Um, but I have to tell you, like the skin looks really nice and it feels very comfortable. Um, and you can't see, like, if you look at my face close up, it doesn't look cakey. which is saying a lot because I have very dry skin uh, and it got rid of the redness really well. I just wish it was, you know, lighter, lighter color, but the formula is really good. The Amber Pearl, like I said, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's really about color story. The formula is like the others. I think it's a good formula. It's still not as good as the original in my opinion, um, but it is a nice color story, easy to use. Uh, it does stay on the eye. It does look nice on the eye. It just kind of blends a little bit into one, but if this is what you're looking for, there you go, Amber Pearl. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon.